right, what's going on guys? It's Jeff. Back here on some more Cold War. Real quick, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on my last Cold War video. I asked on that video if you guys wanted me to go and complete the remainder of all the weapons on this game. That video could get 20,000 likes. So today I'm going to finish out this UGR, which is one of the last weapons I need, at least in terms of actually shooting weapons. Or no, it's two pistols and a shotgun, but one of the pistols is technically a shotgun. So again, if you guys want me to continue doing this kind of stuff, just play some more Cold War and everything, people really don't mind Cold War. So if you want more Cold War in the future, leave a like on this video. This gets 20,000 likes. I'll also have to go and do the melee weapons specifically. I need to get some detect kills and I need to get close range kills. I might need to go in the face off for the close range kills. Close range. Yeah, I like that. Close range, close range. Got it. Ooh. Got a camo out of that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into the uh, face-off thing. I think it's just going to be a lot easier that way just for both of the challenges in general. We need eight more kills for the detect kills. Then we need to still get like 40 plus point blank things. And then this is just like double kills, which will be done in like one game anyway, once this thing hits level 50. I don't have a weapon XP token, so it's kind of a nightmare. That was one of the main issues that I ran into on this game. On top of like the weird things where you have to like get kills behind cover or whatever it was before. And uh, the point blank kills you have to use to be like way, way closer than they increase it by like whatever amount of meters it was just much harder to do and we didn't have this face-off thing with all the face-off maps and shit or at least a lot of people weren't playing it from what i remember i remember i did everything over in nuketown i think i'm gonna put this bruiser grip on though running around with this spetsnaz grip if i'm trying to barrel stuff people losing shooting move speed is not good i technically just like get out of range just by just shooting Yeah, this is much better. This lobby seems so nice. I'm sad that I joined it late. I don't know what it is with people shooting my body and shit like that. Like, shooting my body is not going to make your weekend any longer. There's actually a Mortal Kombat uh, combat cast that's going to be coming on in like uh, an hour or so. Hopefully I can finish before that point. The issue is getting to level 50. That's really the problem. That was the biggest issue I ran into on this game. I would end up finishing all of the camo challenges before I even ended up finishing leveling the weapon. Like the grab, for example, it's not even max level, but it's completely done. You just get so good at doing the challenges on this game. And the leveling process is kind of annoying, so I end up running into these situations where it's just all uh, weapon love pain. You know, I was thinking about it. Wasn't Vanguard the game that had like way too many weapon levels? I really hope they don't do that shit again. Like, every single weapon is like level 70 and the leveling up process takes forever. Please, no. Also, I appreciate all the feedback on yesterday's video as well. It was just like a sit down and talk thing, just asking questions. I appreciate all the feedback I got on there. It's just, you know, go with the flow. I don't know if this one's going to be that good for the uh, close range. Yeah, I could just sit inside like on corners and shit. Barrel stuff doorways, like lay down prone at them. I'm just gonna start smoking that whole corridor. What is it? Dude. I have flak jacket on. Why? That's why I'm using the smokes. I can't see them. They can't see me, but at least they get in the range. It's another point blank. Another one. What the fuck is that guy doing? Another one. Stop destroying my field mic, man! Almost there. Blank. <laughs> I think the combat cast are supposed to like break down Gearus and some other characters and stuff that they introduced recently. So we'll see more gameplay from them. But you're telling me I only got one detect kill? Wait, there's no UAVs or anything in this mode. Why? Alright, well I just need like one UAV and then just some kills. Blank real quick. Play blanks. That's not bad. That's it. I mean, I don't even know why they keep going there. How did I only get a few of those kills? I don't understand. The last time I was playing this shit, I was getting like 20 plus in a game. How am I struggling right now? I mean, I'm getting the point blanks, which is fine, but I went into Nuketown to get these detects a bit easier. Put down the field mic somewhere, hide it, and then you could just get all those kills, no problem. Uh, this weekend, they got a UFC event. It's Vicente Luque versus RDA. Rafael Dos Anjos.
I think Vicente Luque will probably beat RDA. Uh, I just think Vicente is just really, really dangerous. Now, given speaking of dangerous, Vicente Luque in his last loss ended up getting some kind of brain bleed or some scary sounding shit. So, I mean, he might look different after this, but uh, he seems fine. He's had his interviews and stuff, seems fine. Obviously, there's probably different levels of like brain bleed uh, stuff. I, I don't know. Must not have been like that serious. I don't know, man. I feel like if I was being told I have brain bleeds and shit like that, and my job was to fight people, I, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Where the fuck is this guy coming from? The LC-10 was so crazy. I remember when this weapon came out. This shit felt so smooth and easy to use. Also, the TTK on this game is odd. It feels like the weapon and damage multipliers are more relevant in this game than the other ones. Like, I imagine myself needing to shoot higher on this game, whereas opposed to, like, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, all that stuff, it felt like I just shoot them anywhere, and that's all that was needed. In this game, it feels like I actually have to hit them. Like, it matters where I'm hitting them. Almost like Halo-esque. Obviously not nearly as tanky as Halo, but you know what? I'm saying. All right, now we go back in the face off. Hopefully get the rest of our point blanks in here. We only need nine more. And then the UGR will be done. And then I need to use this Marshall. And then I also have to use the Iron Hide shotgun. I think that's what it's called. Co-main is Cub Swanson, Hakeem Dawudu. I think Hakeem's got that. Khalil Roundtree versus Chris Dawkins. Chris Dawkins making his 205 debut or something. I just don't think Chris Dawkins is that great. I think Khalil is... Oh no, Khalil Roundtree is an interesting fighter. Like sometimes when he shows up, he looks like actually like top five caliber. But then there's other times where he shows up and he just... You know, it, it just does not go the way that you think it would go. AJ Dobson versus Tafan and Chukwi. Josh Frem versus Jamie Pickett. And Chukwi should win that shit. Josh Frem should definitely beat Jamie Pickett. Jamie Pickett, he's not that bad, but he's just not insane either. That's, I don't know. I feel bad saying it like that, but that's actually the case for a lot of the fighters on here where like a lot of these fighters, if they show up, they're insanely good, super dangerous. But then if they don't, they don't have good showings. Like they really, really don't. There's been some rumors going around as well about uh, Gamescom that's coming up in like 23rd to the 27th. There's rumors about potential Mortal Kombat stuff there. There's also some rumors about information for uh, X Defiant. Now, again, that's just what I've heard. That's what some people have been theorizing. I don't have any real reason to believe it other than, you know, what I would want. I know I could be coping a little bit, but, you know, what if they were to, uh, you know, at Gamescom one of those days, they end up going, hey, they could do some kind of announcement and say like, hey, you know, in a few days, the game will be out. They have some kind of event going on. I saw that Ludwig was involved and the thing that he was promoting said that it had X Defiant on it. But how could they play X Defiant though? If it wasn't all already out or accessible in some way there is it a possibility that they'll give access to just a handful of people that are involved in the event that he's involved in? otherwise i feel like it might be playable around that time so end of this month there might actually again just rumors and just speculation nothing confirmed whatsoever all right got all my point blanks now i don't have to play stupid anymore i can just get as many kills as i possibly can 49 all right one more level and then i can just go and do the double kills which will be super easy on this as well so one more game we should be able to get to level 50 hopefully this game was just so easy to play sweaty as fuck don't get me wrong like every trey art game is so sweaty which is why i'm actually kind of excited for uh the new sledgehammer get for modern warfare 3 i know people don't want anyone to be hyping the game up and i'm not trying to hype the game up i'm just saying you know what it is design wise it does seem like it's better and i just historically do better on sledgehammer games i just do Ooh, a double weapon xp token oh shit i mean rda looks solid at 170 pounds it's just like he, he really is like a 155er really i, I don't know if vicente luque has ever fought at 155 in the ufc anyway vicente is just dangerous he just is sure, yeah he doesn't win every fight but eh, that's a dangerous dude i don't know i don't see rda making another run at the belt personally especially at 170 but that's one way to combat the whole uh shipment slash nuketown player base like me let's make a bunch of like real small tight maps just like this and put face off in the game perfect all right i just need double kills now also i noticed grouping and hand holding on this game is way more common because obviously the more hp there is the longer the ttk is the better it is to group together eric lewis re-signs with the ufc with an eight fight there's no way he's gonna do eight full fights that's not happening. Honestly, at this point, I mean, Derek Lewis probably doesn't even care about getting the belt straight up. You guys should just give him, like, just guaranteed fireworks matchups. Just, like, straight up let him can crush everybody. I mean, fuck it. He's entertaining. Who gives a shit? Eight progress in a game, not that bad, but I feel like I would have got more. Also, there's a dude that has been replying to my tweets for literally, I, I mean, 1,000 days straight has committed 1,000 days to trying to get me to change my profile picture, even though I have already recognized his existence. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Because then 
then it invites this whole thing for more people to spam day whatever until this guy does this. I don't want to encourage that. I don't want to do it because even the guy himself will tell you, don't do this shit. Do not commit a thousand days to something this fucking pointless. Now understand that this guy, I've seen people saying some like mean shit to him. It's like, it's not like this dude is sitting around all day. The dude probably wakes up in the morning, has an alarm, and it's just part of his schedule. The same way I could do like a thousand videos, he does a thousand tweets. It's the same copy pasta, just with a new number every day. I respect the commitment. I just, the stupid fucking picture. I hate this stupid fucking picture. Twitter blue doesn't let you change it. Wait, what is this shit? Yeah, right here. Uh, Ludwig's event. There's gonna be like Minecraft, Street Fighter, Genshin, X Defiant, Fall Guys, Tetris, uh, Lego 2K Drive, and Trackmania. How would they have access to X Defiant if during the event X Defiant wasn't out or accessible in some way? right and if it's like less than 20 people doing the event all together and against each other there's no way that they would just have it specific to them right i mean maybe i'm coping it feels like if the event is on what september 2nd it feels like maybe the game could be accessible in some form by september 1st or so otherwise why would they say that they're going to be playing x defiant it could be like just a promotional thing where they're just like i don't know they they just have them featured there but that just that feels a little off to me i feel like it's a possibility that we'll be able to be playing X Defiant at the start of September, hopefully. Again, grain of salt, complete guess, just speculation. I have no proof whatsoever other than just looking at what was in front of me. Can anybody else explain why Ludwig's event would have X Defiant there? How would they be playing? You think they specifically got less than 20 people, like a special access code, and they'll turn on the servers and stuff specifically for them? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, Mark and them could be chill like that. That's not really a leak either. I'm just trying to put the, you know, two and two together. I should be able to finish it by the end of this game. Then I got the really annoying things to do. Like, uh, having like five melee weapons to do is just so stupid and pointless. It would be incredible if X Defiant actually came and said, there it is. Imagine X Defiant had a full release at, on like September 1st or like August 30th, end of this month. We're saved. It would be amazing. Yeah, Face Off is so much better. Dude, just add Face Off in every game. Make super, super small maps. If you guys make gunfight maps, make them respawn. Who gives a shit? Who cares? Now, obviously, it really only favors, like, the whole, you know, camo grind aspect of the game, but, I mean, that's literally the only progression system that's within the multiplayer experience, so that makes complete sense to me. All right, boom, maxed out level, which, I mean, all of the camos on this game look really, really good. A lot of the uh, store stuff was really good when people didn't feel too bad about spending money on the game at the time. Now it just feels like, shit, I haven't bought anything out of the store in months. And we got Dark Matter right here. We'll go in the game with it. Yeah, here's uh, Dark Matter Ultra. Uh, obviously, a lot of people really like Dark Aether a lot more, but I haven't unlocked it for this weapon. I don't necessarily mind unlocking that stuff either. It's very fun. Got a whole system down. It's just long and tedious. That's literally the case for all of these camo grinds, to be honest. They're not difficult. It's just more of a having time to do it and just maintaining your uh, mental. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all the videos recently. Like I was showing in yesterday's video, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming out within the next week. We got the new uh, Warzone event or whatever on the 17th, and then a bunch of games out on the 18th. Star as well with all the other games in Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Mortal Kombat Beta, all that shit. So just thank you guys again, and uh, yeah, this is Jeb, guys. Later.